the ear-piercing fife, the royal banner, and all quality, pride, pomp, and circumstance of glorious war. And, O ye mortal engines, whose rude throats the immortal Jove's dread clamors counterfeit, farewell. Othello's occupations gone. God save the worthy general. Say you. The Duke and Senators of Venice greet you. I kiss the instrument of their pleasures. their division twixt my lord and Cassio? A most unhappy one. I would do much to atone them for the love I bear to Cassio. My lord. Maybe the latter moved him, for as I think they do command him home to put Cassio here as governor. By my troth, I'm glad of it. Indeed. My lord. Why, sweet Othello. <gasps> Get me off! Out of my sight! I will not stay to offend you. Truly an obedient lady. I do beseech your lordship, call her back. Mistress! My lord. What would you with her, sir? Who? I, my lord? I did wish that I would make her turn, so she could turn and turn, and yet go on, and turn again! And she can weep, so weep, when she's obedient, you say. Obedient, very obedient. Proceed you in your tears! Concerning this, sir. Oh, well painted passion! I'm commanded to get you away. I'll send for your arm. Sir, I obey the mandate. I will return to Venice. Cassio shall have my place. You are welcome, sir, to Cyprus. Is he not light of brain? He is that he is. 